In my PhD, I was analyzing a gene involved in photosynthesis. To analyze it, I created different varieties that are introduced in plants. Uh, how I did this, I explained in the film called From the Greenhouse to the Lab. So now I want to analyze what the effect is of my gene in these plants. And in order to do so, I'm going to measure the photosynthetic rate. And I'm going to do it by measuring gas exchange with this machine. Gas exchange occurs in the leaves. So I'm going to introduce the leaf in the chamber. It's important not to fold it. And then I close the light source. Very well. Now I'm going to let it stabilize for a while. And I'm going to explain you how it works. This machine allows me to measure how much CO2 reaches the leaf and how much CO2 is left afterwards. With this, I can find out how much CO2 has been uptaken by the leaf. And why do I want to find out? Well, in photosynthesis, plants take up CO2 and water and with the help of light, convert it into sugars and oxygen. If I measure how much CO2 has been uptaken by the plant, I know indirectly how much photosynthesis the plant has made. Uh, this machine allows me to control carefully the parameters of this reaction. I can control the humidity, so the water, and I can control how much CO2 reaches the leaf. I can also control how much light or the intensity of the light reaches the leaf and the oxygen. So with controlling these parameters, I find out how much CO2 has been uptaken and thus the photosynthetic rate. Uh, now I'm going to increase the light intensity. So the plant is reacting to the increase of light and this is the CO2 uptake and as you can see it's slowly increasing which means that the photosynthetic rate has also increased. And that's what I did for my PhD thousands and thousands of times. Okay.